Hi everyone, it's Mickey from Game Maker Cast. In this video lesson, what I wanted to do is introduce you to the tile sets in Game Maker Studio. I've created a tile set on my own and it's pretty basic, but what I want to do is let you or give you the ability where you can actually start making your own tile sets and importing them into your game. So let's get started by creating a new sprite. We'll call it SPR Tile Set. And normally what we could do actually, let's do some organization while we're here. Let's right click and make a new group and call this tile sets. And in here, we'll drag our sprite in and then right click and rename we want SPR tile set default. Now let's import the image and I've already imported this purple tile set or sorry, I've already created this tile set. So I'm going to hit open and just allow game maker to resize the image for me. So you can see that I have a 224 pixel wide by 32 pixel high tile set and this is what we're going to be using for our game. I can close the spray and I can go into tile sets and I can just say create tile set. I'll just name this tile set default and all I have to do is select the sprite. Well I'm going to select our tile sets and then our purple default tile set that we have and if we zoom in, you can see that right now our tile set looks a little weird. This is because our tile width and height is off. Let's set those to 32. And now you can see that everything is working accordingly. Now in the tile set itself, if I load up ASC Sprite, and I scroll out here, you can see that I've purposely left the first item in the tile set empty. And that's because Game Maker, it really needs that tile set empty and that allows us to get rid of any tiles that we actually put on our sheet accidentally. So going back to this, we have the width and the height set to 32. That means that we are all done here. Now, if we go to our room, we are going to have to create a new tile set layer. So go ahead and click that button. And now on the right hand side, we'll assign the tile set that we want to use, which is going to be our default. And one thing that you'll notice right away is when we try to click on one of these tiles, our tiles aren't lining up perfect to what we already have. Now, if we pull down this drop down, we cannot change the grid size uh, X or Y because it's depending on the actual tile set itself. For instance, we had this tile set to 32 by 32, so we are unable to change that. So just keep that in mind when you're prototyping. So for now, what I will do is I will start drawing out this level that we currently have just using the tile sets that we've imported. So I'm going to scroll in so I can see what tile sets I'm sorry, what tiles I'm using here. And I'm going to go and just create a small tile set here at the bottom. And I'll hit the Z key to rotate and I will just draw it up as well. And then once again, Z to rotate. And finally finish this off and bring that down. Now if I hide the instances, you can see that I've kind of messed up here. So I can just right click and it will delete those tiles for me. Now in here I can hit control and zoom in and I can look for the specific block I need and just drag that in. And again, just using Z to rotate to get the correct position and done. Now it may not look super fancy and let's just turn that down to zero. But you can see it kind of gives a depth so it looks a little bit better already. So if we unhide the instances we know that we have a couple things here. So we know we have this line so let's do that. So I will grab this tile set and sorry this tile and hit Z and you can see that we can't really go on the line so I'm going to choose the left hand side and just go up and let's see do we have one and we do for the top and let's get rid of this now you can see we're going to need one here so i'm going to just right click to delete that because so i do not think that we have one no, we don't so we will come back to that let's finish drawing our tiles here okay so in here we need a tile that goes like uh like this and we also need one for there and we'll pull them over there 
So actually, we're going to need quite a few different tiles, which is not that bad, but we'll have to deal with that. So once we get our tiles going here, I think all we need is the bottom one here. So let's go back to our tile set, grab the top, and we'll do this one here and this one here. Now you'll notice that we are missing some tiles here and here and I think that's actually it. So what I'm going to do in a C sprite is I'm just going to go up to sprite and say canvas size and I'm going to add 32 to our width. So that means that 224 becomes 256 and because of the way that our canvas size works or resize. I want to make sure that the anchor is to the right so I'm going to be drawing on the left. And once I've done that all I really want to do is grab the dark color here and I'll just draw three down one two three whoops and across and I want to grab the light color and I'll just go from here and draw across and all I'm doing is I'm making the flip of this here. So I'll drag this up to when we get to half and this to half and now I will just fill in the rest of my tile here. Oops, wrong color. And now that we have that I can just say export. I don't want any padding. I'll just leave it as the same image. I'll click export and now within Game Maker Studio I'm gonna to have to go back to my tile set say import import the purple tile set again it'll resize that image now if we look at our tile set automatically it's picked up that last one so we can go back to our level and we can add those missing tiles in there so you can see that we need it one right here so let's grab that final one and we need it one right here and we need to actually fix there we go yeah that's looking pretty good so now you may be wondering well how are we gonna check for collisions so we can do this easily by get, getting rid of all of our object block and let's just rename this to TS default and inside our workspace if we go down to our object and specifically object block let's actually rename that to object solid now let's change the image instead of having it purple let's change it to something like this hot pink and actually what I want to do is I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to change the opacity or the alpha I'm going to change it down to uh, let's try 64 Oops, and that should be okay. Now inside of our room we have instances. Let's actually make a new one and let's call this collisions and in here we will set our grid to 32 by 32 and in the resources what we want to do is drag in some of these solid objects. Now you'll notice by default we, our alignment isn't working so in the sprite block let's set the alignment to top left. Now back in the room if we select the object solid now you can see that we are going to go right underneath. And to make this easier we'll just pull this up so we can do it over top. So I'm going to right click, or sorry hold down alt and click up top and then just drag my collision block out. Again, I'm just going to drag this one down and out. And the same for the bottom. And finally, for the side. Now what we could also do is we could make them a little bit bigger. So that if for some reason our player thinks that they can move outside of this box, it's kind of a catch-all here. So I will have one for this top, that, this platform. And finally, this platform. Okay, we're almost done here. Now we have our instances, which is really just our player. We have our tile set, and then we have our collisions. 
we can easily just hide our collisions or what we actually want to do inside our game is make sure that visible is set to false so we uncheck that underneath solid now we have to update our player and within the step event instead of checking for the object block what we need to do is check for the object solid so we can do a find and replace by pressing Control shift f and what we want to look for is object block and we want to replace it with object underscore solid and we can do find all and we can see all the different places here and they look okay to me so i'm just going to say replace all and say yes and with that i'm going to save my game i'm going to hit f5 and see how this looks we should hopefully still be colliding with all of their objects let's try this one up top and that one and we can still do our wall jump so then we have the basics of a tile set in there so we can play around with it make some more different uh, tile sets and, and basically let your imagination just fly open at this point i'd like to say thank you for watching i hope you learned a few things and please like subscribe or leave a comment in the video below if you really find this video useful i um i hope you do please uh look on patreon to support me i'd like to do a special shout out to paul dalton and the anonymous supporters on patreon thanks a lot it means so much to me